Good morning, friends. It is Monday. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Tina. I am a second year, fifth grade teacher here on the coast of Maine. Um, I taught my first year in Alaska and then I moved back east. I had a wonderful weekend. Um, oh, that's a good song. Well, I'm going to pause it. Um, Friday, I went out with some teachers for girls night. We went to um, a local like bar and grill place that does name that tune. After that, we went to a local brewery, we had a beer, and then we went home and it was just nice and relaxing. Saturday, I woke up, um, I detailed my Jeep because it had really bad swirl marks and that's just unacceptable and my hair is a hot mess, but that's okay. Um, so I detailed the Jeep and then after that, I chilled out. I went fishing, I went grocery shopping, um, but then I went fishing that night. Sunday, woke up, went fishing, um, grilled hot dogs and hamburgers, and then that was it. But overall, it was a really good weekend. I finally got a vlog edited and uploaded. However, it has been stuck at video processing for nine, for like ever. Um, oh, which speaking of, I can actually sit here and do that. Um, but I finally caught a fish yesterday. We've gone fishing so many times and we've been stuck in like this rut where we haven't caught anything. My boyfriend caught three. I caught one. I had one on and as soon as I like started to kind of pull it up towards the boat, it came undone. He swam away, like didn't care anymore. So, um, that was fun. I am finally getting tan, like getting like legit tan lines, which makes me really, really happy because I am Cuban. Um, both of my parents were born in Cuba and they emigrated here to the United States when they were younger to get away from Castro. And I am typically really tan, but uh, the sun here in Maine in the winter, like when I was in Jersey, I always had like at least an olive complexion in the winter. Mm -mm, not here. I'm like as white as this shirt here in the winter, uh, but that's fine. So it's just nice to kind of see my tan coming back because I do, I do like being tan. Uh, so today is going to be a jam packed day. I have to order pizza at some point this morning because my dare officer, because they won the dare box contest, he offered to buy us pizza or ice cream. However, I have a kid with celiac, so he didn't want to make him sick and doesn't trust himself to get pizza that is okay for him. So I offered to get the pizza and he's going to bring in the ice cream. So my kids are going to have an ice cream and a pizza party after lunch today. But I have to spend my lunch going to get it because they don't deliver here. But I'm going to see if they can deliver like kind of close so that way I don't have to drive that far. But if I have to drive there, that's fine. It's not the end of the world. Um, I'm going to go during my, while well, they're at recess and hopefully be back by the time they're at lunch. So at 11, before that even happens, we have parents coming in. We are tie-dyeing shirts today for Spirit Week, or not Spirit Week, I'm sorry, for Field Day. So parents are coming in every team there are six teams and every team gets three different colors so um, I have a meeting in a little bit to go choose our colors for our teams I'm hoping I get something half decent because there are some ugly colors out there um, but it is what it is I, I will do whatever uh, so I brought my white shirt for me to tie dye and it's just gonna be a chill day and then I think tomorrow is our only like remotely normal day. Wednesday we're making posters for field day for our teams. Thursday I'm pretty sure there's something going on and then Friday is field day. So this is going to be a good week. It is our last full week of school which is mind blowing to me like I don't know where this year has gone but it's just crazy. So anyway I'm going to go. I'm going to get some things prepped. I'm going to see why this video just won't upload or process because it's already uploaded but it's not processed and it doesn't post until it's processed. So I'm going to see if I can figure out what's going on. If not, I'm going to have to just delete it and then re-upload it tonight when I get home, which is a bummer because I've had it up to go up yesterday, but it's just not going through. But anyway, I'm going to go and I will check in with you guys later. Good morning, YouTube. Uh, today is Tuesday, June 11th. Clearly I am at work and I did not vlog for you guys yesterday. Actually, I don't even know if I, I think I vlogged for you guys in the morning. Don't remember if I did the afternoon. Yesterday was an insane day. Um, first things first, we had volunteers to come in to help our classes dye tie-dye shirts for field day. Field day teams are split up three through five. So I have a couple fifth graders, a couple fourth graders, a couple third graders. 
So all the kids that are on my team came to my room and we tie dyed our shirts, our team colors, which ours happened to be beautiful. Luck of the draw, um, it is teal, lime green, and purple. So I was really excited about those because there are some not so pretty colors that other teams got. Uh, but we did that from 10, no, from 11 until 11.45. And I was supposed to leave to go get pizza for my kids at 11.30 because it's about a 20 minute drive each way, depending on traffic, probably about 15 in the middle of the day. But uh, I was in the middle of tie dyeing, so I could not leave. Um, I left here at 11.45. I ended up leaving a parent and my ed tech to tie dye what was left because I had to go get the pizza because our dare officer was gonna be here at 12 to start setting up. So I made it to the pizza place, which should have taken like 15 to 20 minutes. I made it there and back in 20 minutes, 19 to be exact. I'm not proud of that, but I made it. I was only one minute late uh, getting back from my kids' lunch, so I am fine with that. Um, we had him in here for our dare party. He brought ice cream, I got pizzas, um, and I'm trying to think what else. Um, oh, and then he played soccer with them. I helped a parent of my class. Um, she helped with the tie-dyeing. She snipped all of the rubber bands off them so they could just kind of air out. Uh, so. My kids and I helped her with that. Um, and then I had them work on an art project. So I gave them the option and I told them it was completely optional, um, but they had the option of working on a cover for our um, moving up ceremony brochure. So we don't have a technical graduation, but we do have a ceremony to celebrate promoting them to the middle school. So um, I had my students create a uh, a picture I told them it had to be portrait because I'm gonna put it on half a paper uh, but I told them that I would choose one that the principal and I felt best represented our school and that's the one that would go on the programs so they worked on that I told them it had to have our school name like the full name and it either had to have superheroes because that's our school theme this year or rainbows because our school has kind of taken on like this whole rainbow thing so uh, those are my only requirements was that I had to have superheroes and or rainbows and the school name spelled correctly and it was had to be nice and neat. So I've gotten two super cute submissions so far. It's going to be hard choosing between those two, let alone the rest that will be coming in today. So I'm really excited about that. Today we are celebrating summer birthdays. So I bought um, little tiny mini cupcakes from Walmart last night, put them into a pan and that's all I'm doing. I have apple juice. We have leftover trip chips from the party yesterday that I didn't set out, so I'm gonna set those out. I have trail mix. We have apple juice left over from the school year, so we're just kind of cleaning house. Like, I'm trying to get rid of all of our food. So, I have been talking for five minutes. I'm gonna go work on stuff. I don't have anything to show you as far as like academics or what we're doing, because it's really not that great. But later today, hopefully, I will show you um, the super quick PowerPoint that I put together um, all about six word memoirs, and that way, if you don't know what it is, you will know what it is because they're really fun and I love seeing like the ideas that they come up with. So maybe I'll show you that in a second, but we'll see. So I'm gonna go clean up my table and I'll talk to you guys later. So before I show you this, I want to show you, um, I am thankful to have a group of parents that is okay with me playing like non-classical music in the classroom. Um, so I have Sirius XM in my Jeep and I also have the app on my phone and Road Trip Radio is like amazing. They play great music. I think there's only one song that I had to change, but uh, I have a Bluetooth speaker over that side of the room and it streams to it. I can control it from my Apple Watch. You can see that I have the music paused, so it gives me the option to play if it wants to focus. Um, I can control it from my Apple Watch, like I can control the volume, um, I can skip the song, I can pause it, all of that good stuff. Um, so if you are looking for music, if you are allowed to play music with words, uh, Road Trip Radio on Sirius XM, I think it's station 301. Hold on. Yep, channel 301. Um, it is wonderful. So this is the presentation I threw together real quick from, um, to show them all about six word memoirs. This is a presentation that I put together. There are pictures from Google in here, so I don't own any of this, uh, but it was just a quick thing. So 
I had this up while I was waiting for a kid to come back to the bathroom and they were like, memories, memoirs. So it was just really funny like listening to them try to pronounce memoirs. Now they all know the word, um, but that is their logo. So it just says, legend has it that Ernest Hemingway was once challenged to write a story in only six words. His response, for sale, baby shoes never worn. In November 2006, Larry Smith, founder of Smith Magazine, gave the six word novel a personal twist by asking his community to describe their lives in exactly six words. And then I linked a video here. Hello. <laughs> uh, but I licked, I, I licked, I linked a video here um, but I didn't watch all of it. We kind of skipped ahead and trying to figure out where. So it just has different ones like 16, still afraid of the dark, keep coming home to admission letters. I lied. The truth was scary. And it was just some different things. So we worked on that. And then I gave them some examples. Like I said, these are examples I found online. I don't own any rights to these. So this one says, I'd rather be a kid again. Uh, break down my walls, discover me. This one was more for like the artwork more so than the saying. Uh, my whole life is a journey. All day I dream about sports. This one is all day I dream about sports. Uh, this one says never let anyone change your ways. I told my kids this was a prime example of how I don't want your artwork to look. I would like a little more effort than that. And this one I told them I don't, this is something and family of food lanterns. I don't know what the wording is, but I told them that this one I was more interested in than paying attention to the artwork, how it's like watercolor, and I was more than willing to let them use watercolor or paint. Um, I said I liked how this was with stamps. I said you can cut out letters out of a magazine. I said I want this to be you. I want you to put your touch on this. So um, that was just an example of different ways to do their artwork. But overall, this project's been really fun. Uh, they are absolutely loving it. So we're gonna work on this a little bit more this morning because some of them have already chosen their six word memoirs and are starting the rough draft on the artwork. And some others are getting ready to just start their final draft. So it's been a really good time and this is probably one of my favorite things I've done yet. Hello. Good morning, YouTube. It is. Wednesday it is 7 30 and I'm now at school for the second time today um I arrived here around 6 45 and realized that I forgot my watch which I really can't like survive without and in addition to forgetting my watch my contact as soon as I pulled in the parking lot my contact started giving me issues so I had realized pretty early on in the drive that I forgot my watch but I wasn't turning around for just that um and then as soon as I pulled into school Hello. All right, let's try this again without being interrupted. Maybe, we'll see. Um, I don't remember where I left off, but today is going to be yet another crazy day because end of the year crazies are a real thing. Um, I just, in that time period where I was interrupted, kindergarten teacher came and asked me if we could switch um, specials times. So instead of having specials at the end of the day, I now have specials at the beginning of the day. Oh, that's gonna make for a really long afternoon. Um, we have, I have to make up some fast bridge testing. I need to, if they brought their instruments, they have band. They do have chorus. We have to make team posters for field day. And I think that's it. But it's just like a lot going on. And we have the principal's lunch today, um, which is, Principal has lunch with all of the fifth graders in the library. They get pizza and they brought fruit and veggies and it's just gonna be a really, really good time. So with that being said, I just emailed my principal asking, let me turn this around and show you. I have a whiteboard up here in the front of the room. Please excuse the mess around the board, but it's really not that large and this is the only board space I have. And with our schedule and just, I put a lot of our routines up here it's just, it's not enough space. So, because I literally never use this smart board, I do use my projector, I asked slash made a proposal to get a whiteboard put here instead of a smart board. That way I have more board space, but I still am able to use the projector. So, hoping that she agrees to that because like I said, I don't use the board like at all another thing i also worked on was this it um so for our abc celebration 
on Friday. It is Visitor's Day. This weekend also happens to be Father's Day, so I decided to do a Donuts with Dad for Dad, Brother, Uncle, Grandpa, or other Dynamite male role model uh, this Friday, just for about 40 minutes here in the classroom. Ha! So then at the bottom, I just put a permission form. That way I can guesstimate like how many donuts to bring. So it's just child's name, number of people attending, and I ask them to return it even if they won't be attending. Also, while I have you facing this way, I had a student give me this, and it is the cutest flipping thing. It is one of those things that you literally will keep forever. I just found it so unbelievably sweet. So you open it up, and it has a little pop out, and it just says peanut butter cups, dogs, <laughs> Reese's, lilacs, can and Maddie, tacos, teal, Dunkin' Donuts, being called Nana, which made me laugh so hard because that's what my nephews call me, teaching, my Jeep, science, and I just thought that this was unbelievably adorable. She also brought me lilacs. I am aware that they don't look very healthy right now, but I promise yesterday they were beautiful and they still smell so great. Um, they're not really, they're not doing so great, but they still smell amazing. Good morning, friends. It is Thursday. I did not vlog for you guys yesterday. Um, hold on, let me pause this music real quick. It was a crazy day, but it was perfect. Uh, in the morning, <clears throat> we worked on our 6 word memoirs. We also worked a little bit on our speeches. They had library first thing in the morning, which isn't normal. Uh, we switched with the kindergarten teacher. And then we also had um, a couple had, sorry, it's gonna keep going off because I just got an email. Um, keeps going. I have three devices, so I apologize. Um, but they had chorus and band, and then they had something else. I'm trying to think of what it was, but I don't remember. And then we had the principal's lunch, so the principal bought them pizza, and my guidance counselor brought in some fresh veggies and ranch dip, and it was just really nice. We sat and we talked about our favorite memories from the school year. And then in the afternoon, something else happened. Oh, yesterday. So, my kids in the morning uh, during chorus, I had recommended like maybe if they sang a song at their promotion ceremony, ceremony next week. And they were kind of on the fence, so they started researching songs. And they were coming up with like Concrete Angel and like all these like heartbreaking love songs. And I was like, guys, you want something that like celebrates life. Like it's a good, feel good song. Like it means you're moving on. Like big things are happening. So I ran through a list and one of them goes, um, I mentioned I Lived by One Republic, which happens to be one of my favorite songs, but it was in the list, like it wasn't something that I recommended, uh, and I played it for them and they loved it. So they started singing it, and I, when they went to chorus, I dropped them off, and I was like, you know what, this is my idea, like I'm going to stay and hang out with the music teacher and the kids and watch them do this, and it was just so much fun. I lost it. Like tears rolling down my face as it is that song gives me emotional just because like I hope when my time comes like that I can say that like I lived and I just I lived life to the fullest so hearing my kids sing that like this group really just holds such a special place in my heart I lost it like sobbing hysterically like kids came and gave me a hug one sat in my lap while we sang like it was just a real good time then later on at dismissal they continued wanting to sing it Hi. Hi. Sorry. Um, so it was just like a real feel good moment. And then at the end of the day, um, I had kids in and out just because they're still working on field day stuff. My kids started playing. I play road trip radio throughout the day here in the classroom from Sirius XM. I've mentioned this before. I think I mentioned this earlier in this vlog, actually. They do play Sirius XM and It's My Life by Bon Jovi came on. And I had four boys in here and they just had a dance party and it was just... It was a really nice moment. Like they were just kids having fun, singing along. And I was just impressed being the Jersey girl that I am. I was impressed they even knew Bon Jovi. So like, I was really happy about that, but it really was just, it was just nice to witness them still being kids. They don't, they're not like that very often. And then after that, once I got all my kids back, I took them outside for maybe five minutes and then they wanted to come back in and practice the song again. And they started practicing the song here in class because I have a Bluetooth speaker. It's hanging right there, that little dot right there. But I lost it again, tears rolling down my face. So I promised them I will try to keep it together at the promotion ceremony, but they, 
they don't want me to they're like it's nice that you care so it was a really good day and then last night I went to my girl softball game um, unfortunately they did lose but it was still really fun to go watch them and talk to the parents and hang out and I do photography so I did take some pictures because I happened to have my camera on me and in less than an hour I took 200 photos so I have to go home and process through all of those but yeah and then after that because the game only lasted an hour due to um the mercy rule i ended up coming home and starting to work on stuff for my cricket because i have garden signs i have to create for our garden beds here at school we have signs that we purchased and i need to put class of whatever year on them i need to do my students gifts for the end of the year and i also for tomorrow i have to vinyl everyone's names on their shirts so at least for all the staff so i have my work cut out for me today after school i'm getting out of here however today um my kids are going to the middle school or while well, i'm going with my kids to the middle school for step up day they're going to get a tour of the school and get to ask questions and just see what it'll be like next year so i'm excited for that that's about an hour and when we come back i had kids start kind of organizing stuff for me yesterday i had them move a couple piles of books um into the cubbies right back there because uh, we're allowed to utilize those cubbies for storage in the summer so I had them start moving that and then my custodian was in here measuring the smart board because I want the smart board gone next year I don't use it so I requested that she replace it with a whiteboard and it turns out they already have one so they don't have to purchase one they just have to install it so I'm excited um but anyway I am going to get to work I need to eat my breakfast and drink my really poopy coffee it like I know it needs to be stirred I can see that but it really is like this might as well just be cream with a dash of coffee I like my coffee like pretty much black I don't even know why I get cream honestly maybe I'll try it without cream one day I don't think I've ever had coffee without cream but I like really dark coffee so I might as well try it black I don't get sugar okay I'm thinking out loud here anyway I'm gonna get to work I will talk to you guys later today Hello YouTube friends. I am at home. I am currently in my bedroom slash like home office. It's really not a home office. It's just a desk thrown in a decently sized bedroom. Um, I am currently sitting here cricketing things. Um, I have to do our names for our field day t-shirts. So I am currently cutting and weeding and then while I have two mats so while one cuts I'm getting another one going the only issue is I don't know the size because I'm not creating 12 million files so I'm just doing them one at a time and it's fine because I actually came up with a process that works for me today was a really good day my kids are really chatty we went to the middle school so they were wicked excited to go there and meet their teachers and some other kids and I apologize about my hair. I walked, or I ran actually, from my school to my char, my, my char, my Jeep um, in the pouring rain. So my hair is just a hot mess right now and I don't even care because I have to get these shirts done. Um, but I we went to the middle school and it was a really good time. And I happened to see, because it was all the fifth graders in the district except one school, um, because it's such a large sending school, I think they're doing their own tour. So. This one is longer than it is wide. So I saw all of the kids that I student taught and it was so funny because I didn't think that they'd recognize me. Oh boy, was I wrong. Um, as soon as they walked in, they didn't care that any other kids were there. All I heard was Miss Morrow and went over, I got hugs. They were so happy and a couple of them were like, I thought you were in Alaska. I thought you went to Alaska. And I was like, I did, but I came back because I missed you guys. And one of them who I especially thought didn't recognize me, um, he kind of like called me over at the very end. He's like, Miss Morrow, are you going to be teaching here next year? And I was like, no, like I'm saying in fifth grade, buddy, I'm sorry. And he goes, oh, I would have loved to have you. And I was like, oh, my heart, I'm so happy. So it was just, it was really nice. But I, it was just a good day. Like it was just a really, really good day. Um, my kids were wonderful on the tour. They got a tour and now I know what to tell my kids to expect for next year because this is my first year with the district. Um, and I didn't know what to expect. I, like, I didn't know what to tell them. Like they were asking me, are we going to be meeting our teachers? Are we going to get a tour? Like, what's it going to be like? And I'm like, guys, I don't know. Like I am going through this for the first time with you guys. Uh, so it was just really nice to be able 
to go with them and it was just it was awesome um they were so oh no 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 they were so well behaved i was so proud of them mirror is turned on and cut um they were just so well behaved i'm gonna do mine as a test that way i can make sure that this vinyl will stick i don't remember if this is my decent vinyl or my crap vinyl because I do have two piles but they kind of kind of they kind of got messed up I don't know which one this is coming from but whatever they just need to last for tomorrow and I'm going to tell teachers that I did it for free so if it's crap vinyl I am sorry but I did these for free so I'm going to work on this and I will talk to you guys in the morning YouTube. It is Friday and I'm so excited. Today is Donuts with Dad here in my classroom for our ABC celebration. I have dads coming in um, and it also happens to be Father's Day weekend so it kind of worked out perfectly and I also have field day this afternoon. So on the back of all of my coworker shirts, I will show you mine in the mirror, we have our names now on the back. I have a t-shirt that I also tie-dyed that I am going to get from my ed tech when she comes in because being Cuban, I am a naturally curvy woman and this is just too form fitting for me. Um, not really my style for work and I just feel like it shows too much, but it's too high neck. I couldn't wear a sports bra cause then my boobs looked like they were down here and it was just a hot mess. So I am going to quickly vinyl my shirt when it comes in. That way um, I just look a little less revealing. But that brings me to my next order of business. I swear, being a teacher like immediately means that you're a bag woman. Um, I stopped at Walmart on the way in. Shocker, I know. I go there a lot for someone that says they hate Walmart. I understand. But I got plates and napkins and cups. And I even picked up these fun straws for, um, for Donuts with Dad. One, they matched my classroom, and two, I thought that they were just blue, so kind of vibed with Father's Day and all of that stuff. I picked up one grape juice and one apple juice. I already have another apple juice that we can use. I also picked up gluten-free cookies and gluten-free brownie brittle for my kiddo that can't have any gluten. That way, he doesn't feel left out because we are doing donuts. I picked up three dozen donuts from Dunkin' on the way in. I also had to stop and grab a beach towel because I realized that I don't have any. Um, and the only one I have is all ratty because my dogs use it. Um, so I did stop and pick up a beach towel. And then these are all of my coworkers' shirts. And like I said, I brought in my iron. That way I could do my t-shirt if I decided to wear that. Um, I will say doing t-shirts without a press really does suck these days. But... Um, I, I got it done. They're not the best looking and I don't know how well they're gonna hold up, but I got it done. So I'm quickly gonna go drop their t-shirts in their mailboxes, that way they have them and they are all set. And actually, maybe I'll just drop them on their tables. I think that's what I'll do. I'll just go put them in their classrooms and I will talk to you guys later.